Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I want to show you how to grow kale and collards indoors and have them ready for the spring. One of the benefits that I've been saying about starting seeds indoors is you can grow varieties that you're just not going to find as transplants at your local nurseries. This is a black crinkle kale. It's an heirloom variety. And to start it indoors, you're going to put two or three seeds per cell. You're definitely going to thin these to one seed or one plant per cell when you're bigger. And you're definitely going to plant just one plant of kale or collards in your garden. The plant will get two or three feet tall and you know it can get a foot wide, um, even a little bit bigger. So what I do is I drop in two or three seeds per cell. Just drop them in the middle. Doesn't matter where they go. Two or three seeds. And you always put in a little bit more because you don't want to sit around and wait for a seed to germinate that's not going to germinate. It's better to thin or divide. So once they're in, you're just going to mix it in to a quarter of an inch, a little bit more. And you're not worrying about if every seed gets under there. So it's two or three seeds per cell. Mix them in. These, mix them in. These are very, very hardy plant. And once you mix it in, you're just going to collect the starting mix and press it in. Label it. I again recommend popsicle sticks. That's kale. Put it in. On the back you put the, the date. Today's the 22nd. Collard greens look exactly the same. You plant them the same way. The seeds are almost identical, and it's two or three seeds per cell. I wouldn't put more than three because they germinate pretty well. And again, you would just mix those in like I showed you with the kale, and then you would put in your stick, but I don't need to do that twice for sake of time. Now, today's the 22nd. This is this, the variety of kale. This was planted on the 10th, so it's been 12 days. And you can see all of them didn't germinate. This one didn't get any plants. And they tend to germinate just about at the same time. So it's not like you're gonna wait around extra time and these are gonna come up. But you can see two, one, two, two. So again, two or three seeds per cell. Let these grow a little bit more and we'll thin them later. Actually, you can see right there, that's a true leaf. When that leaf gets to about that size, that's when we'll, we'll thin these. That's the kale. This is the collard greens. And again, they germinated better. That's three, two, three, three, two. So two or three per cell. In about 10 days, this is what your collards and kale should look like, and you should be well on your way to having great transplants for your garden. If you enjoyed the video, please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com, and also check out my other YouTube videos. Thanks.